yeah, yeah, yeah. Keys to victory for beating the Detroit Lions. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Now, I know we've been dealing with a whole lot of just uncertainty. You know what I mean? Not even uncertainty. I know we've been feeling some type of way. Let's call a spade a spade because of the loss that we took. You know what I mean? We took a loss. Losing is, losing is hard. Losing is hard. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to move past that and we're going to focus on the Detroit Lions and exactly what we have to do to beat the Detroit Lions. Now, before we get into the keys to victory, I want to talk about some things that's been going on. Now, this Jalen Ramsey thing has been heating up. Now, listen, I think I think I think we got to do what we got to do to get Jalen Ramsey. But understand this, Eagles Nation, understand getting Jalen Ramsey will come with a price. Some of your favorite Eagles ain't going to be there no more because <laughs> Jacksonville going to want something. They're going to want some players and some picks for Jalen Ramsey. That's just is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, it would be nice to see. I, I, I mean, who could would even who can we even pair up with Jalen Ramsey that we even feel comfortable with? You know what I'm saying? Rasul Douglas has showed the ability to be burnt toast. Ronald Darby has shown the ability to be burnt toast. And we don't have Jalen Mills, who's also shown the ability to be burnt toast. I mean, it is what it is, man. But what Jalen Ramsey does do is Jalen Ramsey shuts off a side of the field. Jalen Ramsey will Jalen Ramsey will be able to chase around Amari Cooper. He'll be able to chase around um who else we got coming up? Uh Devontae Adams. He'll be able to chase around Stefan Diggs or Adam Thielen. He'll be able to chase around Antonio Brown. You see what I'm saying? We ain't got nobody on our roster that could deal with that is looking like right now that could deal with that caliber of wide receiver. So Jalen Rams will definitely be a shot in the arm for this um secondary, and I think it's worth a look. Now, um the injuries on the defensive line. The injuries on the defensive line are bad, but I think it's going to make us better. I'll explain why. Now, when you have the injuries that we have with Tim Jernigan being down and Malik Jackson being down for the entire year, um, Tim Jernigan only down for a month, that forces other people who primarily play outside to have to move inside to bring support. Like, you'll see some of Vinnie Curry inside more. You might see some of Brandon Graham inside more. But now what that means is that other guys on the outside who I believe yeah, are... Yeah, yeah, Keys to victory for beating the Detroit Lions. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Now, I know we've been dealing with a whole lot of just uncertainty you know what i mean not even uncertainty i know we've been feeling some type of way let's call a spade a spade because of the loss that we took you know what i mean we took a loss losing this losing is hard losing is hard you know what i'm saying but we're gonna move past that and we're gonna focus on the detroit lions and exactly what we have to do to beat the detroit lions now before we get into the keys to victory i want to talk about some things that's been going on now this jalen ramsey thing has been heating up now listen I think I think I think we got to do what we got to do to get Jalen Ramsey. But understand this, Eagles Nation. Understand getting Jalen Ramsey will come with a price. Some of your favorite Eagles ain't gonna be there no more because <laughs> Jacksonville gonna want something. They're gonna want some players and some picks for Jalen Ramsey. That just is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, it would be nice to see. I, I, I mean, who could would even who can we even pair up with Jalen Ramsey that we even feel comfortable with? You know what I'm saying? Rasul Douglas has showed the ability to be burnt toast. Ronald Darby has shown the ability to be burnt toast. And we don't have Jalen Mills, who's also shown the ability to be burnt toast. I mean, it is what it is, man. But what Jalen Ramsey does do is Jalen Ramsey shuts off a side of the field. Jalen Ramsey will Jalen Ramsey will be able to chase around Amari Cooper. He'll be able to chase around um who else we got coming up? Uh Devontae Adams. He'll be able to chase around Stefan Diggs or Adam Thielen. He'll be able to chase around Antonio Brown. You see what I'm saying? We ain't got nobody on our roster that could deal with that is looking like right now that could deal with that caliber of wide receiver. So Jalen Rams will definitely be a shot in the arm for this um secondary, and I think it's worth a look. Now, um the injuries on the defensive line. The injuries on the defensive line are bad. But I think it's going to make us better. I'll explain why. Now, when you have the injuries that we have with Tim Jernigan being down and Malik Jackson being down for the entire year, um, Tim Jernigan only down for a month, that forces other people who primarily play outside to have to move inside to bring support. Like, you'll see some of Vinny Curry inside more. You might see some of Brandon Graham inside more. But now what that means is that other guys on the outside who I believe are our best now, I believe most of I believe our best pass rushers are on the bench. Like I said, you bring those guys inside and now you're going to start seeing the Deshaun Hall come out there. You're going to start seeing the Josh Sweat come out, come out of there. Um, you're going to continue to see Derek Barnett still getting back to his normal self. Um, what, I, what, I, what I really liked 
I saw a play from Josh Sweat. I think it was in the Atlanta game. I'm not sure. He was really getting close to Matt Ryan. You got to understand something about us. We got two sacks so far this season. We're averaging one sack a game, I think. I think Tim Jernigan got a sack and, and, and Andrew Sandejo got a sack on a freak blitz because we, we just blitzed and blitzed and blitzed and brung pressure. We got to start getting sacked with some of these defensive tackles, man. Uh, people are going to keep putting the pressure on uh, Fletcher Cox. Brandon Graham has probably been the best pure defensive lineman um that, that that's been playing for us this season i like what i've seen out of brandon graham so far but um the, the front four gotta play better because it's easy for us to to blame the cornerbacks as being burnt toast but nobody can guard nobody for seven seconds i ain't seen nowhere on no tape where jalen jalen ramsey has been asked to guard people for seven seconds jalen ramsey has an absolute monster of a pass rush working for him in jacksonville therefore quarterbacks are having to throw the ball up now there's no question who's the best cornerback in the game but give me a good cornerback who's a good cornerback without a good defensive line or without a defensive line who who puts in work you know what i mean that's just not the case but at the end of the day um the defensive line and the cornerbacks go hand in hand and i'm gonna keep saying that man i think Jalen ramsey will be an upgrade from a confidence standpoint i think guys will step up guys will start doing what they got to do and at the same time it's just going to be something good it's going it's going to be good for us man to get somebody like that who who got a chip on his shoulder and want to win now um the Detroit Lions I watched the, both of the Detroit Lions games um what's his name um one, one of their one of their uh one of their running backs I forget this guy's name the the one who gets the bulk of the carries and he he does a lot of the catching out of the backfield now I saw the Detroit Lions um, give up a bunch of screens. I saw them give up a bunch in the screen game, and I saw them gain a lot in the screen game as well in their last game against the Chargers. Um, Matthew Stafford could throw the ball. We're not going to say or act like he's incapable of throwing the ball, but at the same time, Matthew Stafford don't really have weapons like that. Now, this is what kind of scares me about this game. We going into this game with no weapons. We going into this game with our best wide receiver, again, being Nelson Aguilar, which ain't a bad thing. I think Nelson Aguilar could do what he could do in this game. You know what I'm saying? I think this is a game where the offensive line will give Carson Wentz a lot of time to, you know, find guys and a lot of time to, you know, get in sync with the guys that's going to be playing. Because as we all know, Deshaun Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey possibly going to miss this game and um, the Green Bay game which is bad news for us. Now, we got to win this game. There's, there's no way. We gotta. We cannot go into Lambeau on a two-game losing streak. So you got to win this game. We got to do what we got to do to string wins together um, while we're down. We Next man up. It is what it is. We can't make no excuses. Every A lot of people are peaking now, but I think this is good for us because we'll start to peak in the end like we normally do anyway. But at the end of the day, um, stopping, uh, stopping the, the, the screen attack and I think their first primary ball carrier is hurt. So what does that mean for the Detroit Lions? That means that C.J. Anderson, who can run the ball, got to be contained. You got to contain C.J. Anderson. That's number one. If C.J. Anderson is getting the ball and C.J. Anderson is finding space, now that's a physical running back, a physical running back. You remember C.J. Anderson for... For, for like one of the reasons why the Dallas Cowboys didn't get to the getting didn't get out of the divisional round. I mean, he ran the ball well in the playoffs. Um, CJ Anderson is a running back I wanted us to pick up in the offseason, but I wasn't I wasn't upset when we got Jordan Howard and those guys. I mean, I don't think it'll matter who we picked up if we're running guys out of the shotgun anyway. But anyway, we're gonna contain CJ Anderson and then we're gonna contain uh Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford ain't looking to scramble, Matthew Stafford is looking to take chances. We gotta play with discipline in all three phases of the game defensively, and we must start fast. Doug Peterson acknowledges that, you know, it's not, it's not the play calling. Well, it's not the execution, it's the play calling. Yeah, you call in bad plays in the beginning of the game. We got to start off fast against these guys at home. I think we'll be able to uh, win this game by 10. Um, it's going to be great for Carson Wentz and Mac Hollins and other other receivers like Ortega Whiteside to get repetitions with Carson Wentz because they had to learn that day that they were going to be playing that many minutes. You know what I mean? Now they're a part of the game plan. So now Doug Peterson can get these guys ready for the role that they're going to be playing. You know what I mean? I wish a speedy recovery for um, Deshaun Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey. I hope Dallas Goddard is healthy and ready to play. But this Jalen Ramsey thing, if the Philadelphia Eagles do acquire Jalen Ramsey, which is a big if, you got to be looking at guys like Rasul Douglas and Dallas Goddard to be a part of that package. You got to be looking at us having to lose something, man. Uh, it is what it is. We'll get to that bridge when we cross it, even if we have to cross it. But this is a very winnable game. Every game is winnable in the NFL, especially when you got a quarterback like Carson Wentz and a coach like Doug Peterson. Carson Wentz is going to continue to give guys opportunities to make plays on the ball. They got to make those plays on the ball, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.